Hi everyone and very warm welcome to your channel. I have covered this local file organizer tool previously a few days back when it was released and the reception was quite good. Recently the creator has added more functionality plus now it by default it supports Llama 3.2 and I have received a lot of questions around how to use this tool with Llama 3.2. So in this video, we are going to install it locally and use it with the celebrated Llama 3.2 model and we will see how it works. If you don't know what this tool does, let me try to give you a very quick overview. So this is primarily an AI powered file organizer that leverages the power of models like Llama 3.2 and also the vision models to automate the process of organizing files by scanning a specified input directory for files and then it does a textual analysis by using an LLM like Llama 3.2 to analyze and sum summarize text-based content generating relevant descriptions and file names. It also uses a vision model like Lava which is based on Vicuna by the way to interpret visual files such as images providing context-aware categorization and description. Understanding the content of your files, whether it, it is text, images and more, to generate relevant descriptions, folder names and file names. It also organizes the files into a new directory structure based on the generated metadata. And of course, it uses Nexa behind the scene. Nexa is an alternative of Olama and I already have covered Nexa here. Just like you use Olama to download, run and then use LLMs locally in a quantized format, Nexa does the same thing. I already have covered Nexa in detail on the channel as you can see. I have shown you how you can use it on Windows, Linux and other operating systems and we have seen it from various angles. So just please search Nexa and you will be able to get more information. But in this video, I will also be showing you how you can install Nexa from scratch. Before I move forward, let me give a huge shout out to our very good friends at AgentQL who are the sponsors of this video. AgentQL is a query language that turns any web page into a data source with its Python SDK and live debugging tool. You can scrape and direct with web content. AgentQL works on any page. It is resilient, it is reusable and it structures output according to the shape of your query. It also uses the power of AI to analyze the page structure to find the data you are looking for and I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Okay, so let's go back to our local file organizer and then try to get it installed. Let me use it. I'm running Ubuntu 22.04 and I have one GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM courtesy masked compute. Let me clear the screen. First up, let's create a Conda environment. I'm just calling it local file organizer and I'm using Python 3.12. So Conda is a virtual environment which makes things quite easier. Shouldn't take too long. Let's wait for it to finish. And that is already done. Next up, let's git clone the repo of a local file organizer and I will drop the link to it in video's description. And that is done. Let's clear the screen. Now, next up, let's install Nexa. The good thing about Nexa is that the installation is one line, which is this, which uses some of the CMake arguments. And then because I have GPU, so it is using CUDA here and then it is installing it from the source. So let me run it. It is going to take a bit of a time. So let's wait for it to finish. And everything is installed now. Let me clear the screen. And then you can check Nexa's version by doing Nexa dash dash version. You can see that we are on this version, which is the latest one. And now in order to now download and run Llama 3.2 in a quantized version, just do Nexa run Llama 3.2, 8 billion and uh, um, 3 billion instruct Q3 KM. And then there are various variants of this, which you can get from Nexa's website. So for instance, if you go to nexaai.com and then search for this Llama 3.2, this is 3 billion one. And then you can, of course, select any other. So you see there are various quantized level and then you can 
filter them down so pretty nifty website and as i said i already have covered it in these videos so check it out if you are interested so let's go here and run it and it is going to download it on your local system verify the checksum let's wait for it and you can see that now it is running on our local system let me exit from here because we are not looking to run it here exit it let's clear the screen we also need a vision model for that it uses this lava vicuna model let's wait for it to get downloaded should not take too long and vision model is also installed let me exit from here let's clear the screen now we are in the root of this repo nexa is ready we need to install all the dependencies from the local file organizer so let's run it and that is going to take a few seconds so let's wait okay so that is done let me clear the screen another dependency which it needs is this to do the ocrs on the files so all you need to do in ubuntu run this that's select o dash ocr so let me run it and then simply press y here and that is all done also if you want to deal with pip, um, pdf files make sure th that you have this by mu pdf package installed i believe i already have it yeah so it's already have it let's clear the screen so this is all the installation which we need for this to happen next up in order to run it all you need to do is to run this command python3 uh, main.py and make sure that you have some directory which you want to arrange don't run uh, run it on your root repo on your operating system please so what i have done is i have just created a new directory on my local operating system i have placed an image there a pdf file and just a text file with some random data so let's try to see how it works so i'm going to run this here and it is saying to me that if i want to run it in silent mode so that it displays all the output or not i'm just going to say no let's display it and what directory i want to organize i'm just going to give it this directory path okay so it says where <clears throat> so i'm just going to use the organize folder in the input directory and now it is asking me that this is the red directory structure before please choose some mode to organize your file by content by date or by type so this is quite good actually so i'm just going to press three here and then it is doing me the proposed directory structure this is really huge improvement now if you want to proceed so you see it is going to arrange it like this pdf file plane and then image file then you can just say yes okay it looks good and then it says that these files have been organized successfully and then it says that if you want <clears throat> to do more or not just say no and then it has exited from here so if i go back to my directory and then maybe refresh it or i think it has just gone back and has created some just so this is the organized folder so these are the text file both pdf and plain text so if i go here this is my text file how good is that so it has properly arranged it you can as you saw that we can arrange it by content and by all that stuff so it has properly arranged it very nice so that's it uh, this is how you use it with your uh, lama 3.2 i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think about this tool also if you are looking to earn some free gpu credit you can submit your llm generated text llm generated images or both to this hack tuber 2024 where i will be one of the judges and you will find the link to it in video's description so thank you for watching and i hope that you enjoyed it if you did please consider subscribing to the channel thanks